Hello guys, today is going to be a message from your starseed family. So let me know you guys who you are connecting with. Is it the Pleiadians? Is it the Lyrans? Is it uh, Syrians? Whoever this, these, this family is, let me know who you guys are connecting with. Uh, who is your starseed family? By the way, I can do a reading on that if you're interested. But let's get a message for them. I have two piles for you. Pile one and pile two. So pile one and two. And let's get started for the messages from my beautiful pile ones. So your starseed family has a message for pile one. Four of wands. Seven of cups. The Hermit. Seven of Wands at the bottom. You also have the High Priestess. Wow. Pile number one. Your Starseed's family has a message for you. And they feel that you've been asking them for help. Some guidance. It's not... Uh, you guys could have read or heard or listened to another reading about it. Um, you have received some kind of sign from them and you are now maybe trying to confirm this sign let me know who you are so their message uh, pile one their message they want you to be aware of something here that is um, kind, I'm hearing kind of controversial because it's in some way hidden it's hidden from you and I'm hearing it's controversial. Maybe it's something that is bringing uh, conflict with your family, bringing conflict with the place you're living in. Um, but it's also bringing a lot of opportunities, bringing a lot of options to you. What is this? What is this hidden thing? Two of Cups. Six of Pentacles and Justice. Wow. Wow. Okay, I am sensing pile one. I am first message I'm getting those who have let go of toxic connections. I'm hearing specifically recently, past year or so. Those who have let go of some kind of toxic connection, it could be some kind of connection that you've lived with, maybe uh, as someone you lived with at some point, or a relationship that is a, a family member, or even a friend, a dear friend of yours. Some kind of connection, some kind of toxic connection you've released here. They want you to know that this person, this connection was entangling you in their energy. They were almost like an energy vampires. They were pulling from your energy to use it towards their highest good, their um, own intentions. They were not giving back to you. And this was the right thing to do with the justice card. You expected some kind of NXG exchange. You felt that this person was not giving back to you or you should have. You should have received something back. They want you to be encouraged in your decision. 333 three, three in the clock. They want you to know that they encourage you. They support you. What you had to do was maybe difficult, but it was worth it. Okay? So for those who recognize themselves, let me know. This is the first message. But I am hearing like something hidden here. What is this? Hidden. Pile one. What is this hidden thing? Energy. Hidden energy. We have the nine of wands in reverse and the wheel of fortune. <gasps> wow. This is a, a great opportunity coming your way. I'm hearing also an opportunity that you don't have to fight for anymore. It is coming as an inheritance from them, as something that you deserve, two of swords. It's like it's almost going to bring you to a point where you're going to have to make a decision. Am I going to follow this hermit? Am I going to follow my wisdom? Or am I going to still use the same old patterns? They want you to be worry, uh, wary of that. You don't have to worry about putting hard work. You only have to be aware that at some point the decision is yours. And you're going to have to decide whether you want to follow wisdom that they're guiding you to take. You're going to follow old patterns 
and that's the only thing you need to do because this is coming your way it's a it's an opportunity it's a great opportunity with the wheel of fortune this is this could be uh, something connected to finances it could be love it could be anything here that is going to make you feel lucky it's a great chance here queen of cups exactly it's going to make you feel emotionally fulfilled whether it is a job whether it's not here an opportunity to travel somewhere an opportunity to connect with someone that you love someone who's going to deeply fall in love with you but yes knight of cups in any case this is something that is going to make you feel um, emotionally fulfilled and this is hidden from you it's interesting why is this hidden from you why Oh, look at this. This came out like this. Knight of Pentacles with a hidden card, which is the Ten of Swords. It's hidden because something is slowly being released from your life. A karmic uh, ending is coming your way that you could be maybe reticent to embrace. Some of you could be afraid of it. It could even involve your finances. And this could be very slowly coming your way. And still, it is inevitable. And that's why it's hidden from you. Yes, King of Swords, some of you will have to be very strict with yourself. You're going to have to take a decision that could be very uncomfortable for some of you. And in any case, it's going to make you let go of something, Eight of Cups. And many of you, you could be resisting it right now. So this is your message here, Pile 1, from your Starseed family. Hello, Pile 2. You guys chose this. Let's take a look at your message from your Starseed family. What is your message? Nine of Swords. Eight of Cups. Two of Wands and the world. Your message, Pile 2, they're telling you to let go of the things that are currently hurting you, keeping you stuck, keeping you worried, keeping you anxious. Some of you, it is also some kind of mental illness, physical illness, something that you're not even aware you're holding on to, you guys. I am hearing some of you, you are unconsciously, subconsciously holding to something that is not yours. With the Ten of Pentacles, they want you to know that this has to do with your family. Five of Swords, Five of Cups, something from your family. Maybe it is a generational wound. Something that you picked up from your family and ultimately it's not yours. You need to let it go. They want you to let it go because you are about to close this cycle. They want you to feel it. They want you to know it. As soon as you let it go, a new opportunity is coming your way. It's up to you to choose it. They also want you to know that a trip is coming your way, an important trip is coming your way. And this trip doesn't have to be around the world, even though for some of you it's going to be the case. But it's coming with an opportunity, this trip. What is this trip? What is this? I want to know a bit more. It's coming with an opportunity. Ten of Swords, Knight of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, and the Knight of Cups. It's coming definitely with an opportunity. An opportunity to meet new people. There are three people here that you could be connecting with because it's coming after closure of something. So it's coming with an opportunity. These people here... You also have the Queen of Pentacles at the bottom. This is an important an important meeting with these people. These people, you guys could be surrounding yourself with new opportunities, new people that you're meeting around the world or in a different city. These people are actually offering you things that you cannot see right now in your life. What are they going to offer you? Let's see. Let's get two possibilities. Some of you, we have the Hermit. And for others, we have the Emperor. Some of you are going to be taking charge or some of you even getting married. You could become a father figure here as the emperor. Or you could actually um, learn to create your own business, create your own uh, CEO a position. You know, the emperor is a very high level individual when it comes to your job. Or you can, be, you can also be a father figure or even a mother figure. It doesn't really matter gender here. We're talking about someone taking charge, taking control, starting to really be um, their own leader of their own life. So those people here, you're going to meet on this trip. For some, this is the opportunity that's going to be offering to you. For others, it's the hermits. 
And it's so interesting because some of you, it's going to be a religious or a spiritual practice that you're connecting with thanks to these people. You're going to be with the Nine of Pentacles. Oh, you also have death. You're going to be transitioning to meet these people, transforming who you are from this person that I'm hearing the two of wands, this person who is still hesitant, who doesn't know necessarily where they're going, or you're not clear yet, or you believe that you're going or you're doing the right thing, but you're not sure from this to nine of pentacles, freedom, independence. You're going to feel like, uh, I'm hearing like a hundred bucks, you know, you're going to feel so great about yourself. So these people are going to give you this opportunity and it's coming through a religious awakening, a spiritual awakening, because you're connecting on a very deep level with these people. These are people you meant to meet. Your starseed family wants you to know that. What else do they want you to know how to? What else? Six of Swords. Definitely some of you are going to be traveling, leaving your home. And it could be very difficult. Strength in reverse, three of swords. They want you to know that if you have to let go of something, leave it behind. Something that you used to care about. Something that you still emotionally connect with. They want you to know to listen to your head. Start moving forward, okay? Because if you, the more you're resistant, the more you're going to get hurt. And they don't want to see you hurt, Okay? Let it go. Release. Ultimately, this is going to be really great for you. What else do they want you to know? Queen of Pentacles, the Sun. Seven of Pentacles and the King of Wands. Some of you are going to have a son, a baby. Some of you have been waiting for this for a long time. I'm also hearing fertility treatment for some of you. So, of course, this is not for all. But for others, it is actually the ability to create... A fertile um, connection with this king of wands energy this is who you are queen of pentacles and this was a long time coming but you're going to find ways to create abundance and i'm also hearing um long term or longevity when it comes to connecting with this person i'm hearing like why let's ask hold on why why now why is it now that you're going to be able to connect with this person longevity here why now the devil in reverse we have the six of wands and we have the king of swords with the nine of cups they want you to know that you have an ancestor looking after you they are um watching over you this ancestor is watching over you this ancestor has been struggling in their own life when they used to be alive this person has struggled in their own life when it comes to romantic personal lives you might know who this person is. Some of you know exactly who I'm talking about. Uh, they could be a Capricorn. They don't have to be. They could also be Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. This person has struggled. They don't want you to struggle with the devil in reverse. This is someone who's guiding you towards your success. And it could have taken you a long time because there could be some kind of attachment here. Especially when it comes to your pride, your sense of self-worth, your sense of ego. There is a lot of that being released they want you to know that this is actually the wish fulfillment you've been wanting or been asking for. So don't despair, please. If this is something that you've wanted, Ace of Swords, just know that there is a sign here coming your way. They're communicating with you. You guys could be seeing two birds flying. You guys could be seeing eight eights. You guys could be seeing eight of something. Uh, you guys could also be observing the North Star one day in the night. You might notice... Um, a shooting star at night these are signs they're sending you because they want you to know that you're on the right track you're going to be succeeding in this endeavor of yours all right five two i hope this was resonating let me know in the comment section